So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to record this session as well. Uh, and this session will be available on uh, Moodle as well. Um, if uh, you are unable to take this session um, somehow. So what we are going to do, we are going to put this session on uh, Moodle that in um, later time uh, you can watch this session. So uh, in meanwhile, if you have any question, you can ask any question. Uh, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to share here a presentation. So can you see this presentation? Yes, sir. All right. So uh, our next lecture, which we wanted to uh, uh, do is, uh, that is uh, six modes of documentary filmmaking. Uh, don't worry, this is not actually uh, actual lecture. We are going just going to test different things. So what we are going to do, uh, we'll play some three, four slides and a video as well that everybody is able to see that. So um, if we talk about uh, different modes of documentary, so, uh, the first one which is important to uh, look into that is expository mode. Uh, this mode is one of uh, the most famous modes of documentaries where we use a narrator. So most of the uh, documentary filmmakers, when they make a documentary filmmaker, they mostly use this expository mode. So what narrator does is here, uh, he actually or she actually um, narrate the film, uh, which we uh, usually see in documentary films that they are giving voiceover to different documentary films. So <clears throat> mostly it is known a voice of God as well. Uh, so this is one of the oldest form of doc documentary filmmaking. Uh, previously, um, uh, if we talk about John Grierson or uh, early documentary filmmakers, they use this expository mode. They recorded the footage and uh, in editing, they added their audio into that footage. Programs such as Big Brother and uh, um, Indian version of uh, Big Boss, uh, they use this um, mod as well from 2000 to 2002. They still use this uh, mod as well. So uh, whatever or not, the narrator is uh, represented visually as well. So uh, we are expected to trust the narration. Uh, as a definite interpretation of an anchor. Uh, <clears throat> expository mode, in order to make this kind of identification easier, the narrator will often represent the target audience for the program, which frequently means a male, white, or middle class uh, narration. So, uh, because previously uh, we talked about um, when you select your narrator, you need to look into three, four things uh, like. Uh, um, uh, the way he speaks or the pronunciation of the narrator. So if you are making a documentary film for um, uh, white males, or um, if you are making film for African Americans, so you need to find a narrator who speak like them so they, that they can relate to that narrator. So that, uh, and this approach has been commonly used from uh, the initial um, uh, part of documentaries. Okay, Shurum uh, Banaiti documentaries, early 30s, may 90s. May. So all these documentaries are uh, used uh, this kind of mode. So uh, some codes of convention of this mode are the important thing voiceover. Uh, the voiceover may either be a voice of God. Uh, obviously, that doesn't come from the God, the narrator is narrating. So usually we call it voice of God, or voice of authority. These two terms you can use. So images and stills are used in this um, documentary. And usually voiceover is superimposed on um, these images and illustrations. Editing is used for continuity to link together images that support the argument put forward in the voiceover and a variety of footage, interviews, stills and archival material is assembled to support the argument. So attempts are, persuade, attempts are to persuade the audience for a specific point of view. So I'll play here a documentary uh, there are some examples of this document, these type of documentaries like America's Most Wanted. Uh, science and nature documentaries are mostly expositories. Mega Structures, very famous um, uh, documentary series that was broadcasted, that still the um, um, uh, Net Geo broadcasts uh, Mega Structures. The Civil War, The Shock of the New, An Inconvenient Truth by um, Al Gore. So this an Inconvenient Truth is part of your, uh, uh, your course as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play here a documentary. 
which was which was made in previous class so that you can have an idea that what type of uh, expository documentary is So if you see um, the person who is narrating this documentary, um, his voice uh, quality or the audio is quite authoritative. And uh, <clears throat> Um, it, 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 it just seems like a uh, voice of God. So um, apart from that, um, if we talk about the next mode, next mode is a participatory mode. Uh, and in participatory mode, mostly uh, it is uh, an encounter or a relationship between um, filmmaker and its audience or its subject. So as a filmmaker, um, uh, he actually ac actively engages with the situation uh, that they are documenting, asking questions to their subjects, sharing experiences with them. So filmmaker heavily actually reliant on the honesty of witnesses. Um, if we talk, talk more about participatory mode, in this mode, uh, mostly documentary filmmakers are part of the situations. That means they are front of the camera, not behind the camera, while in expository mode, they are behind the camera. So participatory documentaries believe that it is impossible for the act of filmmaking not to influence or alter the events being filmed. Uh, what these films do is emulate the approach of the anthropologist or participants observation. So mostly what we can say, uh, there is, um, uh, uh, there is a, a research technique participant observation. So you can actually um, um, say that this uh, participatory mode is uh, kind of participant observation. So this, this was another uh, mode. I will play another documentary here. So that is not exactly uh, participatory mode, but it's, but this documentary is um, about a person who travels in Lahore um, into the food market and he looks into the different kinds of foods. So let's look into this documentary a little bit and then we'll call this session off and we'll look into it that how it is recorded. Okay. Okay, fine. So um, this was the expository mode. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to unmute your mics now that if you have any question or if you have liked this uh, uh, live session so that we can actually, so I'll stop sharing the screen. So uh, let me unmute you. So everybody is almost unmute. Or koi aap me se samal pushna chahe to push sakta hai. Sir, my art was in class hua tha rehi. Normal timing. Ji, aapki class jo hai wo class ka time hum decide kar lenge kaun sa time hoga. But tell me, tell me one thing. Tell me one thing. Audio and video was it clear? Is it okay? Yes, sir. 
सर उस तरह क्लियर थी लेकिन जो आप डॉक्यूमेंट्री प्ले कर रहे थे ना उसकी मुझे तो नहीं आज तक आवाज आ रही थी यस सर डॉक्यूमेंट्री जो आपने प्ले की है ना उसकी आवाज आई है ना उसकी वीडियो आई है सिर्फ जो प्रेजेंटेशन थी स्क्रीन पे सिर्फ वही आ रही थी जो आपने डॉक्यूमेंट्री प्ले की है वो यहां पे शो नहीं हुई ओके ओके सो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर इट राइट नाउ लेट मी शो यू इज इट कमिंग Yes, yes. Okay. No. Is it okay? No. Uh, so थोड़ा सा मुझे भी जो है वो से करने में uh, समझने में थोड़ी सी मुश्किल हो रही थी बट वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर डिफरेंट स्क्रीन सो विदेज ऑफ टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इट आई गेस सो for my side audio is clear and the visual is clear that's what i want to look into okay good so what we are going to do we are going to call this session off uh, meanwhile you can explore this uh, mobile application how it works so i'll send you an email about the class timing so we'll divide, uh, decide a class time uh, and then we'll have uh, this lecture Uh, so what we are going to do at the end of this session we'll uh, record this session save this session and upload it on moodle so in um, some other time if you want to see it and you want to learn something you can actually see it okay okay sir okay, okay everybody thank you very much take care of yourself stay safe bye bye allah hafiz allah hafiz sir